All right, Mo from Powerline Industries. I want to go over the operation on the HD 690 series. We're having to go Honda now because uh, supply. Obviously, that's all you read about. That's all you hear about supply issues. We're able to get Hondas. Vanguards are getting a little slim, and, and the generators, the 115 volt generators that we've touted, they're made in Italy. God bless them, but. Uh, uh, we've got a 12 volt, an HD 12 volt heavy duty system. We've been testing this for almost 10 years, this style, to make sure that the, the burner is still industrial grade. So let's, let's go over that uh, real quick. It's a little bit different, a few twists on it. I do want to cover the, the basics. Wear gloves, safety glasses, steel toed shoes. Follow our safety instructions. We've got them online and we can send them to you. Follow, all that don't let it just anybody run this equipment this equipment's powerful enough you can cut right to the bone but that's what we want we want equipment that's really effective uh, make sure let's start at the front trailer safety this is two and five sixteenths make sure that your hitch is hooked up right if you have questions call us this is a bulldog hitch and that goes in like that boom you're locked down there you're unlocked, okay? So it's two and five sixteenths, almost across the board. Check your bolts, your nuts before you head out. Bolts and nuts, okay? Safety chains, make sure your jack's up. Make sure your lights work. Plug your lights in, make sure your indicators are working, okay? So that's basic, check your tire pressure. That's all on our safety checklist. Check the lug nuts on a regular basis. You don't want tires flowing, fly out tires and wheels flying off on the freeway right if you're gonna haul with water we have some baffles here you can call us we got a parts they're baffle balls that go up inside the tanks keep the slosh down if your truck's not big enough don't haul with water okay just kind of an FY get warm out here beautiful fall day next to the mountains all right when you get your rig inside will have your operational manuals and your safety and overview manuals, your checkout sheets. Inside of this book will be your title. Let's see how they do here, how they did. How they done did it. You got, you got a video, this on the HT23. We're doing it on the Honda, so we're, we're up, updating. See, as you look through here, there's your bill of sale and your title. See that? Okay. Um, you want to make sure you get all your paperwork done right. Our girls here have done a fabulous job of that. Inside of this box, you got safety gloves, glasses, nozzles, turbo nozzle, that accessory package. If you got a soft wash, there's your J-Rod right there. Foamer, all, all those accessories. We take pictures of it as it ships. If you're missing something, call us. Okay? I'm going to close that down. The Honda GX690 is a little different variety than what we've normally had. Again, supplies, you know, the issue. You've got a full throttle on this. I like the idea of starting this. Uh, and you can let it warm up. That's one advantage to this unit. Fuel filter, choke, okay, on off. Uh, hour meter right there. On this unit, so that's that's the Honda you always always start the unit with the heat off once it's running then you turn the heat on okay and you throttle up only turn the heat on when you're throttled up all the way for because that's when you get the maximum current out of out of the charger off the engine this style of units more battery dependent than the 115 volt for 25 years I've touted 115 volt They'll be back, but this will be a good option. This is a good option. This yellow, we, we're trying to go black, but right now they're yellow, okay? Uh, it is a design that, actually I designed 12 years ago, back in the recession. It's got a heavy duty frame. It's basically the same exact setup as our HD23. Just a little bit different on the burner on there. You do have a battery cutoff on this. We're still using the premium GP general pump. Uh, TSF series sight glass on the front 
primer valves right here. If you run out of out of water, that's your. It's a bicycle primer valve. Filters, filter service. These come off. Make sure the gasket's in. Make sure you put them back on. Uh, keep your battery either disconnected or get a trickle charger for that. Fuel tanks, relief valve. It's a Beckett burner. You can look them up. That's a good solid burner. Some of our exclusive engineering, of course, this is our antifreeze system. Just follow the arrows on this. Okay? Follow that flow line. Now you're now you're running antifreeze. When you go to antifreeze, you just hook the hose up, pull the trigger, turn that to antifreeze, and you flood the whole system with the antifreeze. We've got a class inside uh, from Corpus Christi. It's 15 degrees for one week in Corpus Christi. I mean, it can freeze anywhere, right? Uh, wheels, we're kind of at the mercy of our suppliers. I noticed they're coming in with three different styles. Let us know if it's going to be a deal breaker, and we'll steal some wheels off of the other guy. We've done it. <laughs> uh, surface cleaners. Again, we're kind of at the mercy. We have loved the Steel Eagle. I love Whisper Wash. I love what Larry's done down there in St. Petersburg. Just met with him. I love this product. They're both great products. Again, we're kind of at the mercy of what we can get. Same thing with the soft wash system. This is a P36. This, this is still a really good unit. Starts in the up position, right, Chris? Yeah. Downs in the operational. So this is soft wash system. The little Honda, you got your oil check, you got your gear lube, you got a, a lube gauge right here. Or, or a lube, so you can see how much lube's on that pump. That's been a great pump. Again, I, whether it's AR, uh, Udor, or Comet, it's just so hard to get stuff right now. But this is a really good product. If you're gonna spray bleach, follow our bleach safety uh, guidelines. Remember, bleach is real sensitive. You can't mix it with vinegar or hydrogen peroxide. You're gonna have a bomb, you'll be dead. Then you can't buy more equipment from us. So whatever you're gonna mix, this is a, a batch style. You can mix right in there. You also have a water valve here. Just follow the arrow. Right now it's coming off the tank. You can come on around. You can follow off that arrow. Arrows right there. If you want to pull off the tank, there you go. So you can just flush water right through it. You always got to flush clean water through it. Again, wheels, operation on the hose reels, this means you're on. So if you hook a gun to this, this is live. Okay? That's live, that's off. I'm going to ship, those, ship this to the opposition. We got two trucks waiting to haul this stuff out. Big fuel tanks on this. Big heater, US made on the heat and all that. We do final assembly here. Oil change, both on there. Good access to everything. Good weather protection. It's what we like. This thing's built for continuous duty. If you got any questions, call us anytime. Uh, as far as any parts or questions or startup, uh, thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it.